One Valley family breathing a sigh of relief and celebrating after their son recently learned that he was accepted to Princeton. Pretty exciting, right? And that was just part of this incredible story. Heidi is joining us to explain why it's even more impressive than you might initially think. I mean, imagine how nervous you were when you were applying to colleges, right? And there's one you really wanted to get into. They have done this four times now. Four kids applying to Princeton. All of them wow. got in. So this was a huge sigh of relief for Sarah and Mario Martinez. They're going to be sending their son to Princeton this fall after he graduates from Glendale Preparatory Academy. But as we said, it'll be a familiar trip because their other three kids are there as well. Quite a feat and something they have worked very hard to achieve. So Princeton had a couple of things that I wanted. So, Matt Martinez uh, had his eye on Princeton early on. I've known like forever that I wanted to keep playing football and that was that was a good place to do that at a, you know, at a school. So in addition to applications at other Ivy League schools, he submitted one there, hopeful but realistic. I was always trying to do my best to convince myself that I wouldn't get in, right? So that way, if, if I didn't get in, it was okay. And if I did get in, cool. After a long day at school, it was decision time. I knew that I was going to find out about halfway through the class. And so I was really, I like, just wasn't paying attention for, you know, 45 minutes. He got in um, not knowing he was so setting a precedent for his siblings. For a year later, it was his brother Isaac's um, turn to pick a college. Finding his own yeah, interest to pursue at Princeton, he also threw his hat in the ring. But, but Princeton had a good running club, so um, I did uh, cross country and track in high school. And I'm still on the running club there. He and Matt actually room together now and occasionally run into yet another Martinez their younger sister, Alex. When the face that people have, it's the same every time they figure out I have an older brother at Princeton because Princeton is small enough where everybody has connections to each other in some way or another. So inevitably, they either know Matthew or Isaac. And then the next question is always, do you have any other family that goes here? And when I say that I have two brothers that are actually rooming and they learn they're both the same year, the next question is always, oh, are they twins? She says despite what many people think, she wasn't a shoe in and wasn't even sure she would go there. I had two camps of friends. I had one camp that was, your brothers are going to Princeton, so are you going to go there too? Before I had even applied. And then another camp of friends that were saying, you can't go to Princeton, your brothers are there. <laughs> so it was totally... <laughs> so it was totally opposite input from outside. But getting in wasn't the hardest part. It was deciding between Princeton and Stanford. I think that was the most stressful part for me. I stayed up half the night, wasn't able to decide. Now it was time for child number four to choose a college. Luke, a senior at Glendale Preparatory Academy, applied to only one school. Oh, mom and dad would always tell me, you know, wherever you go, we'll be happy. And, and I was always like, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I don't think there was pressure in that sense, like the family putting pressure on me to go. I, I feel like I kind of did myself because I was like, well, if I don't get in, you know, I'm the least of the siblings, the least of the, <laughs> the black sheep of the family. Decision uh, day rolled around but, but and Princeton sends their decisions, decisions via email. I checked it and I can I can figure out how to how to see it because I'm not I'm not great with like computers and stuff, um, but I finally clicked it. Same thing I think that Isaac said he saw the tiger, and I, I just went wild. I was like, this is it, finally. So what's the secret here? Find those qualities in your kids, and and uh, give them the, the opportunity to shine in their own way, and that's okay. I view learning and the curiosity uh, for learning as um, essential to people. And I think that every person has that and every child has that, but you have to bring it out. Mom always told me to think about it. It was just like, you know, it's a crapshoot. Like you do everything that you can to maximize your own odds. The idea always was, you know, you do your best and you, you try to like set yourself up to have the best possible odds. Are you relieved that there are no more children? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Wow, I mean, Heidi. Isn't that incredible? It's amazing. So I was telling uh, Scott and Olivia during the break, every Ivy League they applied to, they got accepted <laughs> to. They all picked Princeton for their own reasons. And the parents did say, too, when you talk about what's the secret, they said they made some big choices. Uh, the oldest son, Matt, went to Rancho Solano. The other three went to Glendale Preparatory. So they have literally moved to put their kids in schools mm. where they felt like mm -hmm. education was a real priority. Wow. So. 
I'm incredible. I'm guessing their conversations at Thanksgiving may be a little different than the rest of ours. <laughs> Maybe it's mid. <laughs> they did apply group. to K-State, so you never know, Scotty. Well, they would not have been accepted. I can tell you that That's right there. That's a high bar. Right I there. cannot imagine uh, how friends of this mother wants to ask questions. I mean, you would be constantly yes. like, what's your advice? What's your advice? I tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. She's a junior, and I'm like, can I call you back and yes, pick your please. brain a little bit? Because we're getting to that point. The essays, they said, they would sit around the dinner table and talk about what to include in okay. their application essay. So they really made it a family uh, event, these applications, but just a, a great story and kudos Very to Very nice. Wow. Thanks, Heidi. Thank you for sharing.